protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com Earlier this month, Time Magazine posted an influential article about the end of human driving. The title of that piece is, Let's Fix It, Let's End Human Driving. They say roughly 10 years from now, we will see the end of human driving. And this, this chief executive officer who is giving this speech says, I've long been fascinated by the idea of technology replacing human drivers. And, you know, they go on to extol how wonderful it's going to be when our cars drive us around and when distracted drivers can just text or take a nap and do whatever they want while the cars just drive them around and make all of their decisions for them and obviously don't let them have any spontaneity and make any decisions for themselves. That's what this is really all about. It is literally about replacing you, controlling you, tracking your every move, keeping you contained in these Agenda 21 megacities so that you are never able to go out to the countryside uh, ever again and enjoy the land that is gonna be now given to the elites who are of course going to rent it out to Chinese corporations to, I don't know, fund your solar power. Basically everything that you do is going to be tracked and controlled and they're replacing you. They're working on replacing you with robots and people are lining up for this technology. They're saying, oh, a smartphone that's gonna scan my iris and, and make it so that they can tell when I'm lying if someone just holds their phone up to me. That sounds amazing, that sounds great. We have people lined up around the block at the Apple store for this new technology. Everyone's so pumped about the fact that Tesla is saying that they're gonna have driverless cars by 2023. They're doing this to replace you. It's all about controlling you. And what is gonna happen when their human race is no longer needed? Well, extinction. And that's exactly what the plan is. Now we've already talked about the fact the elites are ready to merge with machines and of course release bioweapons to get rid of the rest of us. Driverless cars, you know, they say it's 10 years off, but it's really just the beginning. Are people ready for this? I went to the streets of Austin yesterday to just find out, do pe are people even aware of driverless technology and are they ready for it? Leanne McAdoo reporting for Infowars.com. I am here in downtown Austin to find out what the lovely trendies of Austin think about the rise of the machines. Now, Elon Musk of Tesla says that they're gonna have driverless cars by 2023. We already know the Google car has logged over 300,000 miles testing their driverless car out in California. Now the UK is gonna be testing driverless buses. So it is coming soon. Now we all know what this is about. It's not about being more efficient and making life easier for everybody so they don't have to think for themselves. It is literally about making people People not have to think for themselves and not have to think about why they're being caged up inside these mega cities, why their cars won't drive them down a dirt road and take them down to a beautiful countryside. Why are they only allowed to stay within city limits? We know what's coming. We just want to find out if everybody else does. Sir, pardon me. Hi there. <laughs> Good question for you. So how pumped are you that driverless cars are coming? Good, because the traffic here in Austin sucks. It absolutely does. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Oh, wow, that's for real. I don't drive. No? So no. you're okay that you can a car will take you wherever you want to go? Yes, for oh. sure. Driverless cars and buses it makes me nervous. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's an awesome idea. Yeah, I'm all about conserving uh, energy and technology progression. Uh, I don't know anything about it. I'll research it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, people drink and drive, and that's someone behind the car. So I'm guessing if a computer can operate better than they can, then probably all right. What do you think about, you know, not being able to drive yourself wherever you want, having that spontaneity of taking a left instead of a right? Well, yeah, that's that's the point. You know, giving up your freedom is always tough, but we're getting so crowded now. You have to make compromises. Probably be kind of like getting used to reading a newspaper on an iPad. It's a habit and it'll be a long time for people to trust it. Now, I think there's a vision here, a new technology, and I'm really looking forward to a time when generations after us look back at us and say how ridiculous it was that humans were driving cars. Hi, 
I'm not sure I have an opinion on that yet. <laughs> I need more information. <laughs> well, Elon Musk, he's the creator of Tesla. He says we're going to have these driverless cars by 2023. Driverless buses are already on their way in the UK. I don't know about driverless buses. I mean, that was kind of scary. Buses scare me as it is. I drive it every day, so. What could go wrong? A lot. <laughs> a lot, yeah, a lot can go wrong. <laughs> you do have that risk factor involved with it. Um, but I feel like as long as it's safe um, and it's approved by, what is it, the FDA, I don't know what it is. <laughs> what if you decided you just wanted to randomly go left and your car is like, no, sorry, you've chosen to go to this destination and I've chosen the best path for you? Well, then we have a problem because <laughs> I'm very hard headed. But, but there's no steering wheel. Well, they have a steering wheel in the new right Teslas. Now. They do now. Not in the yeah. Google car. Well. Or if you have enough money, you was. can get a car with a steering wheel. Yeah, 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 that's true. I think it's probably easiest to walk from here. You barely see a car in the city center nowadays, unless you're rich. <laughs> being a person who doesn't drive, could you see this as being an issue? No. You think it's great? Yeah. I'm curious what you think as a mom. They have the programmers are trying to figure out how to set the ethics settings. Mm -hmm. So basically that'll let the computer decide should they hit a car that only has two people in it versus a car that has four. Or people can adjust the ethics settings on their own and say, well, me and my contents are more valuable than anything else that the car might run into. People can cause crashes, but still technology, it's like, I don't... We, there's always problems with it. No, <laughs> there's got, so I'm negative at this point. <laughs> what do you think about driverless cars? Say so, yeah. No. But, but he'll never learn how to drive. Yeah. I registered your visit with Slick Travel Corp the other day, so they've uh, allotted you a journey time to, to match mine. It makes so much sense, doesn't it? Switch off brain and go to work. <laughs> With this many people around, I'm glad there's a mega computer in charge. Oh, we've covered two point. Oh. <laughs> That's my so, walker, my, my tracker. <laughs> zero miles per hour. Are you, is that what your car is going to do? Is that, you're okay with that? I'm okay with that, yeah. I mean, there's stuff that we don't know about that we're being tracked for anyway, so yeah. if I know about it, psh, why not? I'm not sure I wor I'm worried about that. I'm with Arthur C. Clarke. He said, I don't care what you know about me, as long as you're forbidden by law from using it against me. I wonder how they would be able to control that, though, or... Well, how do you control a hacker? I mean, there's not, always not going to be something. I know Cisco is, like, releasing the technology of things where it's actually going to be, I'm pretty sure, like, your whole house will be programmed um, to this software, and it would know, like, what time you wake up, like, uh, it would start your car, like it would start your coffee, so everything would pretty much be like on a set schedule that is uh, like that the technology takes care of. So um, isn't that exciting? Yeah, it's really exciting. It's much easier to meet up with friends virtually now. So many cities have banned cars in central areas. Ooh, looks like she's got some juicy gossip. We're a really cool generation because we were sort of the old generation, you know, with regular books, and then we switched to, like, nooks and stuff, so we've sort of, like, seen it all happen. So you don't mind just being stuck inside your little bubble or whatever? That's where I spend the majority of my life right now anyways. At my age, I'm wondering, you know, what else is coming down the pipe? <laughs> So you are all for the rise of the robots? Yes, yes, of course. Technology is everything. Sometimes technology can outdo a human, you know? <laughs>
We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield formulation, fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. Members can share their passcodes with up to 11 other people, and your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.